From Maurice Sendak's captivating sketches to JFK's legendary cigar box, prepare to be dazzled as I'm going to take you into a world of excellence and jaw-dropping deals. Stay tuned as I count down the top 10 most expensive and extravagant items sold on Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars has seen a lot of extravagant items over the years, but Morris Sendak's sketches top that list. In an unforgettable episode of season 15, Rick Harrison stumbled upon something truly extraordinary that ignited his passion for collectibles. Little did Rick know that these sketches held the power to transport him back to his cherished childhood memories. It was none other than Maurice Sendak's iconic children's classic, Where the Wild Things Are, that had left a mark on countless young imaginations over the years. The sketches were a must-have for Rick. Unlike many beloved books, official prints of Where the Wild Things Are were never sold, making these sketches a unique find. After a long, tedious check to confirm the validity of the masterpiece, Rick was offered the sketches for a tremendous $310,000. That's right, $310,000 for the drawings. After a bit of negotiation, Rick managed to purchase the art for a whopping $250,000. This deal still stands as the most expensive purchase in Pawn Stars. Not every item requires a long, detailed background check. Sometimes you just need science. Next on my list is 200 pounds of pure silver. The sheer magnitude of such a precious metal hoard left everyone astonished, wondering why anyone would have so much silver. This was a deal the Harrisons were quick to make. After all, it meant they would get an instant profit. In 2012, during season six, Jeff, the collector that brought in the silver, decided that it was finally time to cash in on an early investment. I'm talking about an investment his father talked about when Jeff was just a child. Silver is a risky item to work with as it can easily be faked by scammers. Rick explained how testing for silver required a little work, but it was not rocket science. In the episode, viewers were treated to a little science experiment where the silver was tested with nitric acid. If the product produced a milky hue, it was pure. Simple, right? And it was. After verifying the silver, Rick went on to make the second largest purchase in Pawn Star history by spending $111,000 on the bars and coins of pure silver. I've mentioned sketches and silver, but I'm only just getting into the vast variety of items sold on Pawn Stars. Let's check out the luxurious 1932 Lincoln Roadster. The Harrisons could hardly contain their excitement as they laid eyes on the automotive masterpiece before them. It was a sight too extraordinary to ignore, a treasure they couldn't let slip through their fingers. This luxurious car was built in the middle of the Great Depression by Ford in an attempt to lure buyers away from their competitor, Cadillac. The car was kept in brilliant condition with an all-new V12 engine and spectacular mint and cream color. The Harrisons, recognizing the rarity and sheer allure of this extraordinary machine, knew they had to make it theirs. A car that was priced at $4,000 back in 1932 was sold for $95,000 in 2011 during season four. To seal the deal, both parties agreed that only cash would suffice. The owner had everything planned out entirely as he turned around immediately and brought pure gold with the money he just made. The antiques just keep making their way onto Pawn Stars. As next on my list is the 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar. Les Paul is a legend in the world of guitars. Now imagine a guitar that not only carries the spirit of Les Paul's genius, but also boasts an intimate connection to the legend himself. The 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar was a custom-built beauty that Paul gifted to his wife. The pair were unstoppable back in the 1950s as they sold millions of albums using the guitars Paul made himself. This specific guitar was used by Mary herself as she recorded some of their most famous songs together, such as How High the Moon. Naturally, after this, the sky was the limit for the seller. However, they were against perhaps the best bargainers out there. The Harrisons managed to sign off on a deal for the guitar at about $90,000. Talk about a steal, considering they were asked to pay $250,000 for the piece of historical excellence. While I'm still on guitars, I'd like to introduce the next stunning antique, the 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar. Another guitar makes the list and it is all thanks to Crosby, Stills, and Nash's Stephen Stills. The beautiful guitar was owned by rock icon Stephen Stills himself and used to compose several hit records. The instrument had an appealing appearance, was very well kept, and had a classic Gibson tone. But what truly set this instrument apart was the unmistakable connection it held to Stephen Stills himself, a bill signed by the rock icon, a personal touch that sent its value skyrocketing. Rick does a fantastic job at bargaining for whatever he wants and this guitar just happens to be one of those things. After 
After receiving an initial offer of $110,000, Rick walked away with the beautiful piece of history for $85,000. The 1940s isn't old enough as the next item on my list dates back even further. It is the 1922 proof piece high relief dollar. I'm talking about one of the rarest coins in American history. This coin is so rare that its value far surpasses the $20,000 initially offered, leaving even the most seasoned collectors in awe. It may seem like a lot of money, but it is a ridiculously low amount for this historical piece as only 12 remain in existence. As the coin was investigated, its secrets were unveiled. The coin's true market value emerged like a hidden treasure. The true worth of this historical piece stood at a remarkable five times the initial offer, a revelation that left everyone astounded. In the end, Rick walked away with the coin by spending $80,000, which is the sixth most expensive purchase in Pawn Stars history. I'm not done with cars just yet. Up next, I'm going back to the 1932 Ford Roadster. When it comes to ancient vehicles, the price is always going to soar. In Season 7, Rick and his son Corey found themselves on the doorstep of a seller, ready to explore the tempting possibility of acquiring a true gem. I'm talking about a custom-made 1932 Ford Roadster with about 500 horsepower. This stunning vehicle was kept in peak condition and designed in a beautiful matte black. The owner had spent around $140,000 in taking care of this car, but was unfortunately forced to sell it. For Rick, this was an opportunity that simply couldn't be ignored. When Rick's car expert's eyes lit up with sheer admiration, it was a moment that sealed the deal for Rick. He knew that this extraordinary vehicle had to be theirs at any cost. After a series of long negotiations, Rick and Corey drove away with their new Roadster, which cost them $68,250. I wasn't done with cars, and I am certainly not done with coins. Because in comes the 1915 Panama Pacific Octagonal Gold Coin. In Season 12, Rick was asked to head on over to a prestigious coin auction to help a client fulfill their dreams. Their target? The elusive 1915 Panama commemorative gold coin is a radiant symbol of history, for which the client was willing to spend up to $70,000 on it. This coin was created by the U.S. Mint to mark the opening of the Panama Canal. Rick only managed to locate two coins, and eventually, after a long negotiation, his client struck a deal for $67,500 and walked away happy with the commemorative coin. If you thought I was done with cars, prepare to be pleasantly surprised. Get ready to be fascinated by the captivating story behind the exceptional 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang. Rick certainly loves to spend on special edition cars, and this Mustang is just one of those. The 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang was made when the car rental company Hertz collaborated with Roger Penske, the owner of the NASCAR team. With only 150 ever made, Rick couldn't resist the opportunity to add one to his collection. After a thrilling test drive with NASCAR driver Joey Logano, a deal was struck. An exchange of $60,000 sealing Rick's ownership of the legendary Hertz Penske GT Mustang. Let's move away from cars, coins, and guitars as the next item on my list are truly an exceptional treasure. It is none other than John F. Kennedy's cigar box, a treasure straight from the hands of a former president. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that Rick Harrison couldn't resist. This box, once gracing JFK's table and holding his unsmoked cigars, carried an unmatched aura of significance. The demand for JFK's cigar boxes is sky-high, with one fetching a staggering $500,000 in the past, but Rick, the master of the deal, worked his magic and secured this incredible artifact for a mere $60,000. And that concludes the list. You have to invest in order to be rewarded, and Rick Harrison knows that the best. From JFK's cigar box to Maurice Sendak's official sketches, that's all for the top 10 most expensive and extravagant items sold on Pawn Stars.